Yo, what up? It's your girl Pika calling in from Singapore. It is Saturday night, episode 104, by the way. And man, we're going to talk about some technical difficulties in a minute. But before that, let me catch you up. So this morning, uh, I had to go into work, but it was, it was kind of different. So I went to um, a third location um, on Bukitima Road, which is kind of cool. So out of the box, we had like two back-to-back workshops, um, which they went really well. Actually, we met a lot of parents, got to talk to a lot of people. And um, yeah, all in all, it was a pretty damn good day. From there, we went back to Rocho, the Simlim Square office, and we were prepping for another, um, excuse me, we were prepping for another um, workshop, um, but that didn't come to pass the way we wanted to, but that's okay, because we had a staff meeting real quick and caught up anyway. So from there, we ran home, and I had um, a dinner to go to at my uncle's house, which was really cool. Dude, I can tell you, I have not stuffed my face like I did today. I'm talking about, I think I had like three plates of rice and there was like mutton curry, chicken curry, prawn curry. I think there was chili crab. There, Oh my God. And then there was homemade jelly. And then I obviously made cream cheese pound cake. So I had to eat some of that. My cousin's birthday today. So we celebrated. We had like chocolate cake on top of that. Man, I, I can't breathe. I've been waiting to burp for like I don't know, half an hour to make space for something, for water. I don't have space for water right now. I'm so full. Anyway, um, I'm trying to get this podcast knocked out before I fall asleep. It's it's the itis. It's talking. It's, oh, I'm so full. Uncomfortably full. You know that feeling? We just eat so much just because you can, and then you're just miserable. <laughs> anyway, the biggest highlight of my day actually happened in the cab on the way to work this morning. So, as you all know, I've talked about it a million times, I am part of Wendy Porter's um, group of phenomenal women uh, called Crown for Success. I'm a regional vice president for her, and I represent Singapore, obviously. And um, so we've been doing big things. We had another class that just graduated, so we were trying to celebrate them. So we did like a a virtual happy hour at about 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And... um, it was cool because all of us got on and now that Instagram has that new feature where you can go live and you can invite somebody on so it kind of splits the screen. Uh, yeah, yours truly, I was on there on the bottom half of the screen live for the world to see looking crazy as hell. But um, it was fun. It was so much fun. I haven't had that much energy like from a conversation in a long time. So that was really cool. It started the day off that way. And um, I could see like a lot of my people, a lot of my followers, a lot of my friends from like a million years ago even um, popped on while I was live with Wendy and it was just amazing. I had so much fun. Anyway, so right now I'm trying to figure out how I can, um, how I can look at that one part of that whole, <laughs> that whole live stream because it's still on, it's on replay for the next 24 hours. So if you want, please, 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 it's going to take some patience though because you have to get to me at some point. Um, crown for success on Instagram. You can look up the live replay if you'd like and come catch us all on there. Um, mm. Big things coming on top of that. Uh, she actually announced the fact that her TV show is going live. And yes, I've been asked to be a guest host on this TV show. I'm super excited and super nervous because I'm all good when it's audio. But now i got to show my face on a regular basis and shit. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, not sure if I'm polished enough for all that, but we will see. All right. We'll do the damn thing. We'll try first and figure it out later. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to technical difficulties. Uh... I think I have so many programs and so many pictures and so many, I don't know what, on this computer that she's giving me a hard time, y'all. It may be time to upgrade. No, I didn't say that out loud. Please don't, please don't lock up on me. Okay. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Technology and I, we go way back, but sometimes it's temperamental and sometimes it does, doesn't want to cooperate. So I think I restarted my computer like three times tonight and going to try for another time. Number four is a charm, I hope, and um, so that I can get some work done. But in the meantime, I'm learning a lot. Uh, As you all know, I started my YouTube channel. I am slowly resubmitting all of my old podcasts. So from start to finish, I'm dropping three a day until the end of the year. So I think if my calculations and my math is correct, (laughs) by the end of the year, I'll be caught up with my new episodes as well as the old ones being um, released on YouTube. And then I'll go back to doing one a day. And I'm actually seriously contemplating doing a web show as well. So sound off. Let me know what you think. Comments, questions, share, like, DM, whatever. Just 
holla at me, get at me, let me know. What do you think? You think I'm I'm someone you'd want to watch every week, every day, every week? I don't know. Pick one. Let me know. So that's on the horizon. I'm looking forward to it because I'm going to be doing this web show for uh, for Wendy anyway. I thought, you know, why don't I do one for myself as well? Um, so I know not only is my computer acting up, I know that the whole world kind of flipped out when WhatsApp went down for a couple hours. Were y'all part of, part of that? Did y'all feel that? I thought it was my phone. I really thought I had to like uninstall and reinstall it because I know a couple of people have been having a couple of glitches with WhatsApp on their phone. I think it's because when you have long chat, like chats that have gone on for like several months or whatever, and they're like heavy with pictures or audios or whatever it is, it kind of bogs down the memory in your phone anyway. So I've been desperately trying to clean off, you know, whatever I have in my phone so I can make up, um, release some space. But I know a lot of people seriously flipped out when WhatsApp went down. I was actually kind of relieved because honestly, I have so many group chats on my phone for work, for the hustle, for everything that one day without messages might not be a bad thing. No, I'm not saying I want it to happen, but I don't know. Excuse me. If the whole world were to go down for like, I don't know, a day, I think we'd be forced to talk to each other again, which would be kind of cool, actually. I, I get a lot more out of personal conversations. I would rather call you than type. Seriously, I freaking hate it. Because by the time I finish typing something and correcting it and, and retyping it, I could have told you everything that was on my mind already. That's the fucking irritating part of that. So, yeah, I enjoy the old-fashioned way of talking. You know what would be really sexy, actually? If people would write each other letters again. I would so do that. I, would, I wouldn't mind starting up a pen pal thing so we could like write letters to people across the world. I think it's nice. I mean, rather than get bills in the mail all the time, I would rather get a couple letters every now and again. I would love that. And it's something you can hang on to and cherish for a while, you know? Why not? Snail mail. Yeah, who'd have thunk? Anyway, um, amidst all of these little things that I'm doing, I'm still... I don't know how I have time to sleep, but I'm still putting in work. <gasps> my God, sorry. I'm so sorry. It's the food, I swear to God. The itis is kicking my ass right now. I really want to go to sleep, but I'm trying really hard to stay awake. Um... So yeah, tomorrow, I don't know if I have work or not. I'm going to get a call tomorrow, and hopefully, it's good news either way. It's always good news, right? Um, I am looking to finish up a couple things as far as my website's concerned. So I, I don't know anything about SEO. I know what it stands for. Are you proud of me? Um, but I'm trying to learn. So I understand that if I get my SEO right, that I can actually get more views, more hits, more like shares comments more interaction from the audience basically so that's what i'm looking to do but in the meantime i need to do a couple things on my website as well so i need to go back through a couple tutorials work on some stuff and then really revamp everything um i i'm a little concerned because as much as I want to do things there's not always time so yes i want to build the business i want to build the business i want to build the business but in the meantime, I need to take care of the house, too. So I'm seriously contemplating whether I should take a day off and re my kitchen floor, re my mom's bathroom floor, so that once that one's grouted, I could shift everything to her bathroom, let my bathroom dry out, and then re my bathroom. Those are kind of things that I kind of need to do. I can't keep putting it off. And I'm not about to pay someone 500 bucks to do all three when the cost of the supplies, you guys, may be 25 bucks. Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm not... I'm a do-it-yourselfer, and I've been pretty good. I'm pretty handy. Um, most of the furniture in the house, yes, it came from Ikea, don't laugh, but I put it together myself. So I'm actually really proud of that, you know. Um, my dad is a civil engineer and an architect, and, and any time he had, like, renovations and stuff around the house, we were the ones that helped him. We were, you know, the uh, the workforce, so to speak. So... I think that if I continue to have technical difficulties, I may have to take a day off from this work and do the other work instead, which would be fine. I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be kind of fun and different. I love working with my hands. Um, if I could do handiwork around that, I love painting the walls. I love making art. Um, if I could get my drill fixed up again, um, I don't need a jigsaw, really. I mean, it, it couldn't hurt, but um, yeah, 
I think it could be really fun to actually get my hands mm -hmm. dirty and work on some stuff instead of, you know, being on the computer all the time. The other thing I'm craving actually is some sunlight. I would really love to go out and play in the sunshine for a little bit. I do have a t-ball set. I may actually go take, if it's sunny outside tomorrow. If it's not raining, because I definitely worked home in the rain today. If it's, not, if it's sunny outside tomorrow, I may actually um, take her outside and teach her how to play t-ball, because I think she would love it. I have, um, I have a wiffle ball bat and a set of balls, and um, the tea, actually. So I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think she'd have, she'd have a blast, and I know I could definitely use some sun. So, um, yeah, technical difficulties. Sometimes it's like the universe's way of saying, you know what, put this shit aside and go have some fun. At least that's the way I'm taking it, okay? I know I have work to do. No matter what happens, I'm always going to have work to do. But it can wait sometimes, too. So definitely waiting on this phone call tomorrow to tell me if I have work or don't have work. And um, we will wing it from there. Yeah. So don't let technology stop you. There are a million things you could be doing for your business at the same time. A lot of times if I've, um, I get migraines. If I don't sleep well, I start getting migraines. And that means that I can't look at the computer either. So either I have to fall asleep or I have to do things the old fashioned way, which is read like books, not, you know, Kindle, um, go out and talk to people, go out and meet people. Sometimes that's actually the best remedy for me. If I'm stuck, if I don't know what to do next, go out and talk to people, go have a random conversation and see what happens because somewhere in that conversation, something's meant to spark an idea in you. So don't lose heart. Technology is supposed to make your life easier, but you're not supposed to be dependent on it 24 seven. You're supposed to have a life outside of that. So if your technology tends to go down a lot, Plan your day out as much as you can and have, you know, have a plan B, plan C. So if this doesn't work and I can't get this done today, I can do this instead. Right? Right. All right, you guys, real quick to let. Oh, my God, because I'm like fit to burst and I just can't keep my eyes open. I, I want to sleep off the food. <laughs> um, and I actually may do that here. But not before I drop these three next three tracks, um, not tracks, <laughs> these next three podcasts on YouTube. So check me out on YouTube. Obviously, the channel doesn't have a name yet. I don't have 100 followers yet, but I'm working on that. So let me know what you think. Um, please do listen in. Send me your comments. Send me your notes. Send me whatever. Um, get in touch. And let's have a conversation. All right? But until then, I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.